What up, guys, and welcome back to Earth's Cast, man. Five more minutes of math. I got some more practice for you for these uh, solving quadratics by square root. Remember, we kicking it up. Welcome to the kick up. Ooh, this looks a little bit different than what we were talking about before. Before we had the equation of the parabola, right? It said y equals or f of x equals. Now, we're going to do this the same way, except when we're just given an equation to solve, we're going to skip the first step. Yes, and now we're just going to solve for x using the strategies we just talked about before, right? If I can get this all by itself, can I take a square root and start my process? Uh-huh. But it's not alone yet. Good. Now it's alone. Can I square root now? Uh-huh. Good. And what does that leave us? Yeah, x minus 2. Okay. Whoa. What's the square root of 10? That didn't come out all pretty like the rest of our problems did. The square root of 10, and it ain't 5 either. <laughs> square root of 10 doesn't come out to be a whole number. So, I can leave it just like that, but don't forget the plus or minus. Good. Now, if this radical can be simplified, yes. Simplify that radical. There's a video a couple of months ago. Check that out if you need to. But if you can simplify that radical, you should. We don't need to simplify this one because it can't be simplified. Okay. Is x ain't alone yet, can't we? Yes, add two to both sides. And remember where we put that number that we add to both sides. Good, right in front of that plus or minus. Now, yes, our numbers were very pretty before. We had whole numbers, two and positive two, negative two and negative six. All our answers are gonna be pretty all like that all the time. Sometimes your answer is gonna look like this. Now, if I wanted to practice this in my calculator and get a decimal, I totally could. I would do 2 plus the square root of 10, get some decimal. And I would also do 2 minus the square root of 10, get a different decimal. Yeah. Okay. Let's kick it up. Oh, okay. Here we go. This looks a little bit different, too. We're not used to having a number in front of x in here. But it doesn't change what we do. Uh-uh. Is this set of parentheses all alone already with just the exponent ready for the square root? Uh-huh. Good. And what does that leave us? Good, 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 good. Don't forget the plus or minus. All right, so to get this x alone, don't I have to get rid of that one first? I'm going to subtract one from both sides, but when I bring that negative one here, remember where it goes. Good, yes, it goes right there. That's perfect. Okay, but this x still isn't alone. I got to get rid of that three that's being multiplied to undo multiplication. Now. Divide by three, good. Let's get a better look at this over here. Okay, good. So when I divide it by 3, remember to put that fraction line under everything. Okay, remember that this is two different numbers, right? I got negative 1 plus 5 all divided by 3. Yeah, and that equals good. And then don't forget, I also have negative 1 minus 5 all divided by 3. Yeah, and that equals good. And there goes our two answers. Well done. I think we got time for one more. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. This is a good one. We get through this one, you deserve the break. All right, but you know the drill. We got to get this thing alone so we can take a square root. So, okay, good. Square root. Ooh, okay, with the plus or minus. Square root of 12. Can that be simplified, though? I think it can. Yeah. Remember, I break that 12 down into 2 times 2 times 3, and then I take a pair of twos out. Watch that video. Okay. Add 6 to both sides. Yeah, you know where to put that 6 right in front of the plus and minus. Woo, man. It's getting pretty, ain't it? Uh-huh. One last step to get that X alone, though. Woo, man. That is not pretty. But there's one thing I need you to remember. One more thing. I know. One more thing. One more thing. Can I divide that 6 and that 2 by this 2? Think of it as two separate fractions, right? I can do 6 over 2, and I can do this 2 square root of 3 over 2. So we can simplify all of that at once, like this. Yes, exactly like that. 6 divided by 2 is 3, and this 2 and this 2 cancel. Uh-huh. Man, okay, okay, okay. You totally deserve a break, man. Please take a break. You earned it, but please come check me out for some more. I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.